Hello, uh, so let's go through the setup for the forecasting course for HSMA. Uh, so you'll have access to a zip folder which contains all of your um, code that you'll need for the course. It contains the code along notebooks and it also contains um, the exercises and solutions. Uh, so uh, there's a bit of setup you need to do for this. Um, so I recommend what you do is you install um, the virtual environment that I've created. I'm going to talk you through how you do that. Um, and I'm doing this on Windows. I've not done this on Windows before, so I'm doing it with you for the first time and I'll make all the mistakes you're going to make as well. So don't worry. Um, so we have our forecasting folder and you can put that wherever you would like on your computer. Um, and I'm going to extract that. Okay, jobs are good in. Let's make that big for you to see. Okay, so we've got our forecasting folder extracted, um, and in there we've got this structure. So we've got a README file, and we've got exercises, we've got some data, and we've got code along lectures. Um, and the exercises and the lectures are in Jupyter Notebooks. Um, so I know a few of you have had problems using Jupyter, um, so I have, a, I have a, an alternative solution for you guys as well. Uh, and we'll get to that. And we also have this environment.yaml. Uh, will Windows let me open that? Uh, of course it won't because Windows is terrible. Right, here we go. So uh, this is what's inside an environment file. So it's just a list of Python libraries that uh, Conda will install for you uh, within an environment called HSMA Forecast. Um, that means we're all using the same versions of Python and the same Python libraries. So we're going to be using Python 3.7.7. Um, we're going to have Jupyter Lab installed version 2.1.2. Uh, you'll have Spider installed as well if you want to use Spider. Uh, we'll have a, a particular forecasting um, tool that Pencold have put together for you called Forecast Tools. Um, so why would you put this in? Uh, a virtual environment versus your base Conda environment. Um, the reason to do that is the more that you install into that base environment in Conda, the more likely you are to break it. So you'll get um, dependency issues and conflicts between libraries and it will break and you won't be able to run anything in it. So it's always good to have a fresh environment for a project um, and that's good for reproducibility as well. So you can always recreate the uh, analyses that you've conducted exactly and get the same answers because you've used the same libraries. Okay, so how do we install this? Well, we do this through Anaconda prompt on Windows. If you are, um, if you are using a Mac or um, a Linux box, then you would just do this through the terminal. It makes no difference on those operating systems. Windows has Anaconda prompt. Uh, so where is this? It's in Documents HSMA. Okay, so let's go CD Documents HSMA. So all I'm doing here is I'm just going to the correct directory. Um, if you have a look, you can see that I've got this um, forecasting uh, folder within it. So CD 12 forecasting and have a look in there. Uh, so, oh, there's another folder. It's a double deep folder. That's because I extracted it. Um, okay, and here's here's all of our uh, here's all of our files. Code along lectures, data, and environment. So what we need to do is we need to uh, get Conda to create this environment. Um, so there's some instructions for this on the HSMA Git environment. Page. So we just need to run conda environment create from a file and the file name is environment.yaml. You need to run that command in anaconda prompt in the correct directory. Once that has run, um, it will have installed all the dependencies that you need. And we then uh, run conda activate HSMA forecast. Uh, and that will activate the environment and then we can run Jupyter Lab with all the correct versions of libraries installed. So let's do it. So conda environment create hyphen f environment.yaml. Let's 
go back over to Windows. Can I paste into this? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So I've just typed in there Conda Environment Create F YAML. So this will then go away and collect the package metadata. Um, and at this point, it's probably a good idea to pop the kettle on. Okay, so uh, that took about 10 minutes, I think, to, to install. Uh, possibly a little bit slower on my computer because I'm running Windows as a virtual box. Um, but I definitely recommend that you do this in advance of the course and just to give yourself that bit more time. Um, and yeah, so what's nice is it's, everything's installed um, and then Conda will tell you uh, what to type in in order to activate the environment. So we'll type Conda activate uh, HSMA underscore forecast. And what we can see here now is that we were in the base environment and now we're in the HSMA forecast environment. Excellent. So we've got all. We're now working with all the correct versions of um, the libraries. So what we'll do is we'll run JupyterLab. So I've just typed in Jupyter hyphen lab there. Again, don't panic if you're struggling to use Jupyter. I have a solution for you. So uh, if you when you run this in the in the correct directory, it'll so open Jupyter and you've got all of your um, folders here that you need. Um, so the first things you'll be doing is following the code along lectures. So if we double click on there, you can see there's three of those. Um, pandas and time series, exploring time series, and producing benchmark forecasts. So let's double click on um, number one. Okay, so that opens our Jupyter Lab environment. So the code along lectures will just talk you through, uh, well, there are lectures, so they just talk you through how you uh, use Python and Pandas to do time series analysis. Um, if you need a little bit of a reminder, uh, uh, Jupyter is an interactive notebook, so it contains code that you can work with, uh, but it's also a notebook, so it contains text that explains what's going on. Um, so to run a cell, so some of these cells are runnable, they contain the code. Uh, you click on it and you can either press uh, Shift Enter and that will run it for you. So there I've just imported Pandas. Um, or you can go up here if you've forgotten that it's shift enter and you click on the play button and that will run the selected cells and advance to the next cell. And run another one here. Okay, so it's very straightforward. So just when you're on the right lecture, just open up the coding notebook and scroll through and run things as you need to. So you can navigate here. So if you need to go back up a level, just click on the um, directory above it. And we're back up to the to the top level directory. Um, we've got some data files here, um, and we've got exercises. So if we go in here, we've got both um, the we've got empty notebooks which just contain um, the imports and some questions for you, um, and we also have the solutions. Okay, so if you want to use um, if you can't use JupyterLab, if there's a problem with that. Um, then you can use Google Colab. So Google Colab is um, Jupyter in the cloud provided by Google. So it looks a little bit different, but it works in pretty much the same way as Jupyter Lab. So the way to access this is to head over to Dan's HSMA master um, uh, slash HSMA GitHub in the cloud. So that's github.com slash HSMA hyphen master slash HSMA. Type that in and you'll go straight to this page. Uh, scroll down, find um, number 12 forecasting, click on that, and that will take you through to the directory for forecasting. Um, there's a readme file here which shows up, and if you scroll down the page past the environment instructions, you'll get to the section on launch notebooks in Google Colab. So that contains these badges which are clickable, and you, when you click on those, it opens up Google Colab and the particular notebook you want to look at. So for example, if we go to code along three, um, let's just open that in a new tab. 
So you can see here we've got a Jupyter Notebook open, uh, but it's a, it's a Google Colab version of that notebook. Um, so that works in exactly the same way. So you, uh, you can either click on the arrow next to the runnable cell. Um, first thing it will do is ask you if you're happy to run this um, because it's not authored by Google because this is because Google's an extremely trustworthy organization. So let's run it. Uh, yes, okay, so the other thing you'll need to do is that forecast tools is not installed in Jupyter Lab by default. Okay, so what we need to do each time we open a notebook, we need to install forecast tools for that particular instance. Now, I provided the code to do that within the notebooks. Um, so you just need to uncomment this line, which is high, uh, which is bang pip install forecast um, hyphen tools. Um, and if you run that, that will pip install forecast tools for you. I'd, I've just had a go at this as it's already satisfied um, requirement, but you will get something that says um, installed. Okay, and it happens very quickly, almost instantaneously. So that's good. So for this session, that's done. And then you can code along in exactly the same way um, as you would do if you were following along with Jupyter Lab. Um, so we can we can run cells. Um, I've set this up so that it's really easy to work with the data for the course. So instead of having this in a local directory, uh, what the notebooks will do is they will download them from an internet source, which happens to be Dan's um, HSMA home directory. So for example, this one is going to download some ED attendance data from this address. You can have a look at this, it's just a CSV file, comma separated file containing some, some data, nothing amazingly exciting. So you can run that and it happens pretty quickly. Um, so uh, it's completely usable. So that's it. Um, so you, this should provide an alternative for you that will run. It's not installed on your computer um, unless you have a, a uh, you're on some sort of network that or have a computer that blocks Google Colab, um, in which case I may have a, a, a further third solution for you if needed. So remember, all you need to do is go to uh, the HSMA home directory in, on GitHub, which is at github.com HSMA hyphen master hyphen HSMA choose forecasting directory, scroll down, and then you've got all of your links and that's broken into sections. So you've got the code along lectures, you've got your practical exercises and you've got your solutions to exercises. And we'll be able to support you with this on Slack as well. So good luck. Last thing to say is please do this in advance. Please check either that Colab works for you um, so that we've got an idea if there are further problems and also, if you're going to do this on your own computer, please install the environment in advance at the start of the class. Thank you very much and uh, best of luck. See you soon.